shepherd's pie on a hill. You can't tell a smell by its aroma. Oh, Alcatraz, oh, Alcatraz, you make wrote this. <coughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Is this thing on? Yes, yes it's, it's on! on. It's it's on. on. It's it's on. on. Pop. I penned those new school theme song lyrics myself. We know! It would have had an extra verse, but I couldn't think of anything to rhyme with smlurch. Um, Vice Principal Ziegler, the 75th anniversary. Have we been married that long? Of the school. Oh. We're all very proud of Alcatraz Junior High. Next week, your school marks its 75th anniversary. We will be celebrating with a banquet for current students, students from years gone by, and perhaps ooh, some invisible students from the future. You all have duties for the school's 75th anniversary banquet. Sandrin Pelswick, you're in charge of developing a theme. At last! Something I can, like, artistically grapple with. The unspoken essence of the school. In, like, sundry period fabrics and motifs. Can I be swung headfirst into the dinner gong instead? <laughs> Julie, you can help them. Julie? Okay, I'm there. Theme time. Your place, my place. Long nights over a candlelit hamburger. Quiet. Yes, ma'am. Ace and Goon, you're in charge of ticket sales. <laughs> Marty Humlup, you can be the official student body representative. <laughs> student body dweeb, you mean? You'll be greeting our distinguished guest. Uh, some... Athlete named Bulldog Benson. <gasps> Bulldog Benson went to Alcatraz? And Wimpo Marty gets to meet him? And Bulldog Benson's gonna be there? And Boyd will be there green and vibrating. Tickets are 20 bucks. I think we should all go. I wouldn't pay a nickel to see Bulldog Benson. Oh, he's not tough. They had real helmets in his day. In my football years, we had straw hats. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come on, kitty. <laughs> like I'm gonna move faster than this for organic skimmed milk? Guess what, everybody? The university just handed me a, a marvelous opportunity. I, uh... I've been told that henceforth I can expand my occupational horizons without regard to university limitations. What does that mean? They fired me! No way! <laughs> wenty, wenty, come to mama. Mommy! Hard times ahead. We're gonna need this more than you. All the answers to the spring semester exams were in my office safe, but they've disappeared. Bad. I promised Dean Chopkin our files were secure. If those exam answers got into the wrong hands... Stupid people could do well outside of politics. Who else has the combination to your safe? Absolutely nobody. Well, then I guess you did it. Of course you didn't do it, Graham Graham. Dad, here's your tea. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. I take milk. Not anymore, you don't. Listen up, people! Until our breadwinner becomes a functioning member of society again, we're gonna have to tighten our belts. That means no luxuries or frivolous power consumption. So, I guess this would be a bad time to ask for a new left hip, huh? Batteries cost money! <sighs> what are you doing? You know, ever since I've been standing here, not one ocean-going vessel has crashed into your house. Whoa! You look like you discovered a cure for happiness. My dad got fired. From his job? No, from his hobby. Yes, from his job! The whole family feels so bad for him. 
Yeah, it's awful losing your job. It can just freak you right out. It can give you a cold sweat, shaky hands, jiggly hip, weight gain, googly lip. Basically, it turns you into the king. A hunga hunga, yeah. Is that some sort of bad cartoon imitation? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, you should really take your act on the road. Preferably a real busy one. You're not asleep yet? Good. Why good? We have to rent out your room. These are the Bernsteins. Graham, Graham, what are we eating? Garlic potato risoles. Oh, the potato is nature's little miracle. Cheap, filling, and cheap. Huh. I'm worried about Dad. Don't you guys worry about your father. He wouldn't let this thing lick him. Has anyone seen the paper? Don't worry, Dad. I already looked through the business section and put the best jobs on your plate in order of pay scale and human dignity. Don't start at the bottom. It's a major downer. Thanks, but I just wanted the comics. <laughs> I've been looking up the school's history. Alcatraz was built on the site of an old apiary. There used to be a bunch of monkeys here? Actually, an apiary is where they keep bees, goon. Uh, why don't they call it like a bee-theory? I don't know. Right after the school was built, they used the bee theme for lots of activities. Like, wow, the football team was called the Busy Bees. Look at those outfits! This would make a neat theme for the banquet. What do you think, Palswick? Huh? Oh, sorry, guys. I've sort of got other things on my mind. He must be sick. He left his potato sandwich and homemade potato juice. <coughs> Moderately good potato soup, Graham Graham. How's your job with the works department? Yeah, I was fired. No problem, I'll get another job tomorrow. Did Dad look for work today? Dad didn't look for his shoes today. Up next on TV Oldies, Match Game 73. Ooh, a speedboat. He didn't get out of the house? He didn't even get out of his bathrobe. That's why I got you this. Congratulations, <laughs> you're a paper boy. No way! I'm not delivering newspapers! Ten-year-old girls deliver newspapers! Uncool, ten-year-old girls! I'm too hip! Too happening! Listen, Austin Powers. You think I enjoy pretending I'm a blind blue singer outside a java joint? <laughs> Ain't no jam in Mama's jam roll. No wood in Mama's fence. Mama ain't got nothing but the blues and 50 cents. But the blues and 65 cents. <laughs> you do what you gotta do. At least this you can do early in the morning when no one's awake to see you. All righty, T-bone steak or chicken wings? <gasps> we have steak and chicken wings? We sure do. Who wants the potato carved into the shape of a steak? And who wants the potato carved into a chicken wing? Come on, give Papa some bacon. Don't make me deliver newspapers. What do you got for me? Thank you for your generous contribution. Oh. Hey, hey, you night owls. It's three o'clock. You better get to bed. The Buzzing Bayview Bees. Stengel's Honey is graciously lending us some old hives for decoration. Sandra's decorating the hall. And of course, Marty is greeting Bulldog. Goon, you can go to Stengel's and pick up the hives. 
if Mr. Stengel's not there, he says take them from the left side of the barn. Left? <laughs> the museum has, like, graciously offered to lend us the original bee's mascot costume for Marty. Oh, they have, have they? <laughs> so that's like everything. Pelswick. Uh, paper, Mr. Pelswick! What? What? No, I wasn't delivering anything! It wasn't me! No, no papers! <laughs> papers! <laughs> oh, I was turned down by seven companies today. Three of them said I was too light for heavy work, and three said I was too heavy for light work, and the other one said I wasn't old enough. What job are you not old enough for? Cruise ship entertainment director. Is your father gonna eat? He ate. It's three o'clock! Betty Bye time! Extra, extra, read all about me. Hey, check this out. There's an article here about stress. Don't tell me about stress. I go to school all day. After that, I've got this boring banquet planning committee. Then I go to bed before Bobby just so I can get up at 3 a.m. to deliver these stupid newspapers. And if that isn't bad enough, I've had nothing to eat but potatoes for the last three days! Stress can make you short-tempered. It can give you zits. <gasps> Don't you love popping these? Is that a hallucination? Nah, that was our second job this morning. The modeling gig didn't pan out. I gotta go. You can do it. You can do it. You can stay awake. You can... Put the ladder under that window. Those dimwits put that together all wrong. Well, maybe they had it right after all. What have you done to Bayviewosaurus? You're fired! Hey, look, there's Pelswick. Where? The behind the paper guy? Actually, Goon, he is the paper guy. Ooh. Hey, Palswick, wake up. What? 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 Huh? Palswick, what's up with the paperboy gig? Palswick? I'm sorry, but you boys have the wrong guy. Oh, we're sorry, we... Goon! Come on, Palswick, we know it's you. What's going on? It is Palswick! You gotta promise not to tell anyone about this. My dad got canned, and we all took on jobs to help out. I got stuck with the paper route. Man, that really bites. Hey, Goon and I are going to Burger Barrel for lunch. Why don't you come with us? We'll buy you a burger. Thanks, guys. I'd appreciate some meat that isn't carved out of a potato. So these exam answers went missing, and he was held responsible. That's horrible. Graham Graham, what are you doing working here? I lied about my cleanliness. <laughs> what do you have? What do you recommend? Oh, anything but the food. <laughs> I'll get my coat. The left side of the barn. My left or the barn's left? What a bizarre theft. <sighs> Unless they find it before tonight, I guess Marty will have to greet Mr. Benson without the historic costume. Pelswick, how did you get a copy of today's paper before you went home? Uh, no, that's a stinking lie. I was in bed all night. What? Um, actually, I ran out and bought one. I need to know the pollen count every day so I know how much to sneeze. <laughs> No, no, no! Not 
black, yellow, black, yellow, yellow, black, yellow, black! Great news! You got me a different job? No, I got you more of the same job. Tomorrow you're delivering to the university as well. What? It's an extra ten bucks. We could probably afford french fries with that. How's it going, Dad? You look like you could use some vitamin C. You want a potato carved into an orange? Hey, hey, night owls. It's Graham Graham Radio. All hits all through the night. With no annoying commercials, because I hate them as much as you do. The, what? Oh, oh, hey, let, let, let go of me. What the hell? Ah! Young street lamp seemeth enclosed and thus impervious to mine lighted stick. Number one, nobody ever talked like that. And number two, cities haven't had lamp lighters for 80 years. That's the stress talking. And this is my fist talking. Hi, Pelswick. You're early this morning. I've got to do the university from now on as well. I can visit my dad's old office. Did I mention stress could raise your blood pressure and cholesterol? Mm, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Did I mention I'm not interested? Huh? Dean Chopkin? What are you doing here this early? Well, well since I've got you here, could I talk to you about my dad? I don't know what happened to those files, but he's been under a lot of pressure with exams coming up, as I suppose you are too. And like a friend of mine says, being tired and overworked can make you do weird things. <gasps> like sleepwalk! You took the files from Dad's safe! Dean Chopkin, wake up! Oh, wait, Bob, just wait one sec. My coat is caught with me. Whoa. I hate to do this, but it's for my father's own good. No! What am I doing here? You were sleepwalking. You've been taking all the files you're so worried about during the day and hiding them at night. My dad gets his job back, right? What are you looking at? You're a paper boy? At your age? <laughs> to let your stinger out another six inches. <sighs> Thank you for getting my job back, Pelswick. But I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention to any of my friends that... That you sat in front of the TV and gurgled for three days? Heh. <laughs> nah, I won't. No, that you were a paper boy at your age. Is this thing on? Yes, it's on! Welcome to the annual Iditarod Sled Run. Let's de-ice the dogs and get going. I told you we spent the Iditarod Sled Run. It's the anniversary banquet. Oh. <clears throat> I mean the 75th anniversary banquet. Please welcome football great and Alcatraz alumnus, Bulldog Benson. Yay! Yay! Here to present Mr. Dog with a very special plaque that we bought yesterday at a flea market and stuck a new name on with glue is our student body representative. No, I have to give this to Mr. Benson. Losers can't be schmoozers, Marty. I'll take that. Cram Cram? I booked a gig before your dad got his job back. 
<gasps> you didn't tell me he was cute! Bulldog! I'm your biggest fan! No, he isn't, Bulldog! I am! <laughs> Get out of my way, you little... Ah, he must have meant my left. Ah! Oh, the bee humanity. Oh! Look out, Marty! Bees! No way! Not only do I take his job, now Marty's being attacked by bees! <laughs> huh? They think Marty's the queen. Has Marty grown? It's okay, everyone. We're all right. The banquet can continue. Start the entertainment. When I was born in Louisiana, I was already five years old. Cause mama couldn't afford no baby food. That's what I've been told. I'm a big keeper, baby. 